Copper one oxide is a red crystalline solid. Copper one oxide can be prepared by heating of the copper two oxide. Another way of preparation is when a base is added to the aqueous copper 1 chlorine containing complex. It's presumed that primarily the yellow precipitate of copper 1 hydroxide is formed. There is little evidence that it really happens because copper 1 hydroxide undergoes rapid change to red copper 1 oxide caused by continued heating. Formation of copper 1 oxide is the basis of the Feeling test. It was developed by German chemist Hermann von Feeling in 1849. The test is used to differentiate between aldehyde and ketone functional groups. The difference between an aldehyde, for example glucose, and a ketone, for example fructose, is the presence of the hydrogen atom attached to the carbon-oxygen double bond in the aldehyde. That hydrogen atom makes aldehydes a very strong reducing agent, while the ketones are much less reactive. Feeling's test was one of the first tests used to screen for glucose in urine detecting diabetes mellitus. Sugar is not normally found in the urine. But when blood sugar levels rise above the tolerable limit, the kidneys release some of the excess sugar from the blood into the urine. For this experiment, we will need Feelings 1 solution, Feelings 2 solution, glucose and distilled water. It's easy to conduct this experiment because laboratory equipment is basic. We need only the boiling tube and the Bunsen burner. Feeling's reagent is always prepared fresh in the laboratory. Feeling 1 is a light blue aqueous solution of copper to sulfate pentahydrate crystals. while filling 2 is a colorless solution of aqueous potassium sodium tartrate and a strong alkali. First, we need to pour 5 ml of fillings 1 solution to a boiling tube and dilute it just a little with distilled water. to add an equal amount of Feelings 2 solution and 0.2 mg of sugar. When a colorless Feelings 2 solution is added to the light blue Feelings 1 solution, the color of the mixture turns to transparent royal blue. Now we can start to heat the solution and wait to see what will happen. Soon after the start of the heating, the solution becomes opaque and a dark yellow precipitate is formed. As the heating proceeds, the color of the mixture becomes darker orange until it changes color to a bright red. The 
copper 2 ions from aqueous solution of copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate are mixed with tartrate ions from Rochelle salt under the alkaline conditions produced by the sodium hydroxide presence. The presence of tartrate ions prevent precipitation of copper 2 hydroxide because it chelate copper 2 ions and together they form the deep blue bistartrate cuprate 2 complex. If the sugar is present, Cu2 ions from the bistartrate cuprate complex are reduced to Cu1 ions, which react with hydroxide ions forming yellow precipitate of copper 1 hydroxide. Further boiling causes yellow precipitate to change to bright red precipitate of copper 1 oxide. The half and the overall reaction of this redox are as follows. The bistartrate cuprate complex oxidizes the aldehyde and in the process the copper 2 ions of the complex are reduced to copper 1 ions. Red copper 1 oxide then precipitates out of the reaction mixture, which indicates a positive result. As a conclusion, we can say that the bistartrate cuprate 2 complex in Feeling's reagent is an oxidizing agent and the active reagent in the test. This salt reacts with the aldehyde in alkaline conditions and forms the acid, copper 1 oxide and sodium tartrate, which is manifested as a change from blue colored solution to red colored precipitate. This reaction can show us whether the sugar is present in the solution. Thank you.